So I don't know if you could see through the blue. I've been told when I'm using the camera, see, I could see the numbers really clear. This is on that 2017 Pacifico with two pounds of YF refrigerant. So now it's been running for about five minutes now. And basically the majority of the car is sitting out in the sun. It's been roasting out there. So I'm trying to bring down the temperature right now. So we have somewhat high temperatures and it's a dual air conditioning. They're both on. But I want to show you guys something now. I get guys from different parts of the world who call me from extremely hot environments. We're talking 118, 122 degrees. And they have a big problem cooling. Now this is one of the things you can do because I know in some of these places labor is cheap and so you could throw guys on it. Here in the United States our labor is expensive and so most people won't pay for this. But what you could do, now here's the exhaust. This is really hot. And when you're down here on the floor, if you're on blacktop on a highway and it's 160 degree blacktop because it's summertime in say Dubai or someplace or someplace where it's 98% humidity and 95 degrees. So what you do is you get this suction line. Now here's the suction line. This is cold. This is the liquid line. This is the heater. This is hot as hell. This is like 190 degrees and it's right almost. I mean, I can't even fit my fingers in there and it's traveling the whole length of the line. So what happens is the radiant heat comes off of this and radiates and actually penetrates your suction line and it adds heat to your system. It takes away capacity. You don't want that. So you'll want to take down these whole entire line from front to rear, go get some high temperature insulation for a refrigerant and wrap it around all this pipe from all the way from the rear evaporator case coming all the way up through the engine over the transmission up to the top and wrap it in insulation and then put a shiny reflective heat tape a uh, luneman like heat tape wrapped around it and you want to keep things from pressing on it you don't want things pressing on it you want to take it fluffy and nice and big and uh and this is a really hot area that adds a lot of heat to your system us guys who live here in the united states we don't know what hot is in the majority we think 100 degrees is hot uh, for just a couple days in a row but i know i'm sorry guys i had you upside down there uh i know a lot of you guys are watching my channel from different parts of the world you know uh, saudi arabia dubai israel um uh Every, every one of those Middle Eastern and South African countries. Uh, I thank you guys for contacting me and asking me questions, but you guys throw me some really hard questions about taking care of heat and modifying condensers and stuff like that because you guys live in some real hot places. We complain in Arizona if it's 110 or 15 degrees for four days straight, that's called hot. They have no idea what hot is. We live in a mild climate over here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, 131 I didn't even look at the temperature on here and it's on my phone because uh, I have the temperature gauge right there that's the field piece humidity and temperature gauge that's sticking down in the center dash right there this does have the rear AC and that's it about this one I got to get on run got an extra call more than I can handle and I'm going on vacation in a day see you guys later